disciples and himself. Everyone had arrived and so he locked the gates to his estate, thinking that no one else would show. The leader and all his followers parted for hours, thinking nothing of the problems that were arising in the outside world. waiting and seeking them out. The time was 11.45 p.m. when the leader heard an alert that told him someone had entered the gate and was on the lawn of his estate. The leader was not expecting any more guests. Confused, he checked his cameras and there he could barely make out a blob of black on the screen. For some reason, his cameras were blurred, but only where the blob was. The screens flashed and the blob was gone. And suddenly, the cameras were no longer blurred. Thinking it was just a mistake, the leader told everyone it was nothing to worry about. But just as he was speaking, there was a loud crash from downstairs. The cult leader and his followers rushed to the stairs and saw a black figure standing there menacingly. The figure was hooded and wore a long black cloak. It displayed large, sharp, jagged teeth and looked like death itself. The leader and disciples were in a tense stare-off with something that had no eyes, but somehow they could feel it in the room, staring at them, staring at their souls, eating their insides out, until one by one, they saw flashes of their own bodies on the floor, each and every one of them. The figure turned to stare at the leader and growled out his words, You will all die tonight. As he said this, the figure walked into the hall, the leader, with a small group of his disciples, followed the figure. Each man had a dagger in hand, and they caught the figure in front of a massive wooden grandfather clock with his back turned to them. The leader crept up to the figure, thinking he had caught it off guard, but the figure growled the words, Death has consumed you all. At that very moment, the leader stabbed the figure, now known as Death, but it did nothing at all. The figure remained unfazed. With the cult leader's knife stuck in him, the figure turned around, and as the clock struck 12, the leader gurgled up blood and choked as the blood dripped down his chin onto the floor. One by one, the disciples followed as they coughed up blood and fell to their knees. It was exactly as they had seen in their vision from the stair off. All they could think about as they slowly choked on their own blood were the words, You will all die tonight. As death walked out the door and dissipated into dust, ending the night of the disciples, ending the night of the Red Death. I'm going to need y'all clap for me though. I want y'all get interactive with this. It's that party shit, so don't, don't forget to dance with it. Where you at? Hey, look. Check out how I'm rockin', ayy. Bills keep knockin', ayy. New kid here, yet I still got them watchin', ayy. Nothing in my pockets, yet I'm still out of pocket. If the don't play while the kids stay watchin', ayy. Ain't gon' hurt nobody. I make them play back, I'm kid, but I don't play that. Ain't gon' hurt nobody. I get my payback by chillin' where y'all lames at Man, I'm really 15, pushing out these big dreams Shout out young bills, but the bills make my chicks dream Known to go and take it to the hills like it's extreme They know that I get live like a Twitch stream Ain't gon' hurt nobody I make them play back, I'm kid, but I don't play that Ain't gon' hurt nobody I get my payback by chillin' where y'all lames at
Yo, what's good? I'm gonna need y'all make some noise for the art show. Give it up for Ashley, everybody!